I'm told the bus had just turned this corner headed northbound and was not traveling more than 10 miles an hour when it lost control. Sheriff deputies say the warm weather and quick melt softened the gravel shoulder, making it difficult to regain control. We do have these 911 radios now where we have a button on our radios that we can push that goes direct to our 911 comm center. With the push of a button, police response. So if we do have a situation like this, that's activated and everybody knows about it right away. Every bus driver in Pottawatomie County is outfitted with an emergency radio, which will contact authorities even if a cell phone is not available. Uh, deputies responded. I believe there was a couple of state officers that responded. Uh, trainer rescue was here, and uh, it seemed like you know they got here quickly. And uh, and when I when I arrived. It seems like everything was pretty well organized. The technology has been around for two years and it's mandatory in every bus for reasons such as today's rollover. Pottawatomie County Sheriff Jeff Danker says the driver has not been ticketed. It appears the driver became distracted by a student and veered off the road, rolling into a ditch. It wasn't much of a violent accident. It got to the shoulder, uh, kind of laid over on its side, which again, it's uh, that's a traumatic, I'm sure, for the for the kids that were on it, but, uh, but fortunately, uh, very few minor injuries, so. Now the driver, per policy, is taking a mandatory drug and alcohol test. Now none of the students on board were tra transported to the hospital. One elementary student did report minor wrist injuries. Reporting live, Rebecca Ray, KMTV, Action 3 News.